Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Tidy Tara. Today's video is going to be a little different than the last two. We actually just got back from a trip to West Virginia last night. It was super fun. There's actually going to be a mini vlog. I'm not sure how much footage I had because it was just a very special weekend of meeting new cousins and all of that. So my day really today is going to be getting back on track first starting with going to Walmart and getting a pickup order. I was so tired last night. It was like, I don't even know what time. And I just got a couple things for today. So it's not a big order, but it was just a couple things to get us through. And then I'll probably make another one tonight for tomorrow. I just didn't have the capacity to plan out a week worth of groceries. So we didn't do that, but let's go to Walmart. The car is pretty messy. As you can imagine, I pretty much just left everything in here the luggage everything let's go all right quick haul i got some peaches these were in the car from the trip but the boys wanted those got some of this got some Daddy. coffee here Stir fry for dinner tonight. I love this. It's so easy. Cheese for the boys. Chicken, because we always need chicken. Sandwiches. Heavy cream for me. Kielbasa for the stir fry. Pepperoni for a snack for me. Peppers for me for lunch. Ice coffee. This is my absolute favorite one that you can buy in like a store like that. Regular coffee because we're almost so, like I said, super small order. I think it was like 12 things. So, like I said, I was just trying to focus on getting our life back together. I'm sure you guys can relate. After a trip, it just feels like life is just a mess. You have no groceries typically, at least that was our case. And I truly didn't even get much um, just to power through the day. I uh, most importantly needed coffee because I feel like trips just suck the life out of you even though it was so much fun. It really does just take a lot. So I'm tidying up the kitchen. Josue was home while we went away um, but he focused on other things. He just relaxed as well and I was really happy that he had that weekend and honestly a little bit jealous. So I'm cleaning up the kitchen just from his weekend at home and tidying up. He mopped the whole hardwood floor in the living area. That was something that we wanted to do a long time ago. I think we've only done it one other time since we've lived here. So we just want to keep the integrity of that well. So he did that and that was great. I also took a little lunch break. Really delicious. Screenshot that little section if you want. It's like my go-to lunch. Very good. Also, if you can hear the boys behind me, they are running around. I read something a long time ago that was like, don't let your kids be the reason why you don't do something. Instead, let it be the reason why you are doing something. So even though this is like <laughs> mid-morning um, and the kids are running around being crazy, I think it really represents my life and how chaotic and little time I have to do stuff like this. But it's just a passion, a love of mine. And um, I really want to build on this platform and just share true life content with you and that for me is my kids running around from inside outside with the door open <laughs> acting a little a little crazy all right so i'm out here in my car the boys are napping so i'm going to actually try to clean up the car a little bit as quickly as i can because the mosquitoes here are something else let me tell you i'm gonna scoop up all the trash Get the bags inside and then hopefully later i can go and get the car vacuumed out i went to try to do this before we left actually and didn't have enough quarters and it's quarters only so we're gonna try again but it makes more sense to do it after a trip anyhow so we're all good but uh, let's get going because i'm afraid landon's not gonna nap and he's gonna wonder where i am
It felt so good to just knock this out. That's one thing I've learned as well is just do it. Like seriously, just don't leave your crap everywhere. Just put it back in its place. So I was so determined getting back from this trip to just keep my car clean. It could be because my van is new. We've only had it for about a month, but I'm gonna try to tell myself that this is just the new me that I'm trying to keep my spaces tidy and just put together and not let it get crazy and it's just it gets messy just from day to day life so a trip on top of it I was like nope this is not gonna happen we're keeping this sucker clean and I love all the little added things that I did to it but also just getting it picked up and not leaving it a disaster can really change your mood when you hop in a car let me tell you but I also just get a really big satisfaction from taking a trash bag and just loading it up with all the crap and just tossing it right in the trash. I think that is just like one of the best feelings ever, just getting rid of so much stuff. It's also crazy just how much stuff you have to bring for kids. It's like car snacks, car entertainment, um, drinks, cups, bowls, literally everything that you at home you have to bring for kids because people that don't have kids or kids your age, they likely don't have these things and you just want to keep them entertained. I wasn't sure how the boys would react in the car, but they honestly did great and it's probably because of the snacks. <laughs> So it is like the perfect day to have a lazy day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, thank you. I just plopped my butt right in our laundry room and went through it and tossed all of the dirty clothes into the laundry basket and then I kind of made little piles of stuff that was still clean and stuff that needed to go in my bedroom or bathroom and sorted it out and put it back in the suitcase that way i could just move it out of the way and take piles at a time to where they needed to go i've also never done laundry the day after a trip so this was nice um some of the clothes were just wet and just smelled bad we were running outside a lot and getting all sweaty so we just had so much fun little piles for Josue by the door um, to put in the garage. <laughs> the garage is usually his territory so I just said you know what this stuff needs to go in the garage and plopped it. I actually didn't even tell him he just knew <laughs> from what it was that he needed to take it out so thank you Josue. You're the best. <laughs> it's a little bit later I actually just arrived to a little vacuuming place. I wanted to vacuum out the car. It's not horrible but just needs a little, little love, little attention. I actually really love vacuuming out my car. I think that is just like the icing on the cake. Especially with the kids, they just throw their shoes off and they usually have sand or dirt from the parks or mulch and I just really hate the way that looks but when it's all vacuumed up it just looks so fresh and so clean and like I said before it just feels so much more inviting to get in a van or a car that's clean and it really does boost your mood so I feel so good this week getting in my car and I'm like oh, oh my gosh like it's clean this is great how many times can I say that but 
If you need some motivation to clean out your car, I'm telling you, this is it. You will be so much happier when it's done and you will feel so accomplished. Wherever you go, you know, hopping in the car to go anywhere, you will just appreciate your past self so much. So here's your extra boost. Get outside and clean your car. I promise you won't regret it. But you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. I made it in good timing because um, as you probably saw it started raining I just put the seats up and I didn't realize it was dirty underneath and I ran out of time and just like if I just only had like 30 more seconds I could have cleaned under there but it's okay I'll come back another day um, we had the backpack seats down the whole time so I didn't even I didn't even know it feels really good you can't even tell that we just went on a trip it's very clean that vacuum works pretty well i mean it looks really nice so i am excited about that so oh. something else too is i got this trash can because there's this compartment right here i guess i should have probably moved this up too but yeah there's a little bit of a mess it's okay um but this goes back so people back here, obviously the kids can't reach it, but if anyone else ever sat back there, they could have a cup holder. And I also thought it was just the perfect spot right here for a trash can. So that way, if I have like a little bit of trash, it doesn't build up like all over the place. I can just toss it in here. So I actually meant to bring a bag. So I'll grab that when I get home and then I want to wipe down these surfaces. So a little bit down there and stuff, but overall i'm really happy it just feels a lot better so let's go home okay so i grabbed a couple things i've been vlogging on the gopro also because my camera was dead but also it's just kind of fun so that was fun to vlog a little bit with this but we're back on the camera um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and spray down the cup holders got a little sticky i don't even know what's on here we're gonna wipe that down and get it all fresh smelling in here i don't even know what this is gross it's honestly so refreshing to come in here and just get this done instead of waiting days and days it feels like a brand new car i never even did a like car tour so if you guys are interested in that let me know i was gonna do one on my other channel and then it's just a little bit hard to film by myself i was gonna ask Jose to help me but we just have the boys and landon's not really napping anymore so it's not the easiest to do. I can do like a quick little short one in one of my upcoming videos if you guys are interested. I really love this. I truly didn't think I was going to be a van mom ever, but after so I brought this one home, I was like, okay, it just feels right. Like driving in it for the weekend that we had it before we bought it, it just felt right. And the boys love it. Landon always asks me to go on a car ride and everything. So it's just fun. Times like this, going on a trip to West Virginia in the car for like six hours. It was super convenient. Definitely love it. And it was such a good purchase. Clean up down here. I actually already spilled coffee in here. Are we surprised? Probably not. I had my like big hospital mug in here and it wasn't fitted in the cup holder right and so when I turned it fell out all good it's all cleaned up that didn't even happen on the trip so whoops <laughs> it's a lot easier when it's just a little bit at a time that's for sure okay I also brought this bag so I can get it in my trash can I love that I have a trash can in my car I'm not gonna lie the other day I also picked up this basket uh, I wanted one that was specifically for the car I think I'm gonna put it behind 
um, Emerson's car seat and this will just be for once toys start piling up and everything I can just toss it in here bring it inside unload it and then just bring it back outside and it's just gonna stay in here because Landon always takes his shoes off so we always have like three pairs of shoes in here a million socks little cars everywhere and just so much so I'm gonna stick this back here I had this for our trip as well and it was just really convenient i already brought it inside once to use it so it's definitely gonna come in handy and right now with emerson turned around he's rear facing still it doesn't get in his way i am happy so happy anyway um let's go inside and see if we have anything else to do and if not we'll go ahead and wrap up this video 